My grandpa put his whole heart into assembling this deck. I have to believe that it holds some secret strategy. This card is useless. Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. So, not to brag, but I think I'm pretty good at passing interviews, not just pageant interviews. Part of this I attribute to my ADHD, but with my current position, three days after I graduated, I had my interview, and 15 minutes after I walked out the door, they called me and gave me the job. That ain't bad. Most recently, the whole mang shebang, I can't talk about it yet, but, I'm gonna make a separate video on that, but I will say days where I literally slept at 12 p.m. It was as hard as I thought it would be. And we're gonna be using my old college resume as reference, so that should be fun to look back at. I also created a portfolio template for you guys because uh, when I was in school, I was a little bit confused or had anxiety on what my website was supposed to look like, what my resume was supposed to look like, all those types of things that uh, you don't need to waste space in your brain thinking about that stuff so i will do it for you so i spoke with a recruiter and a hiring manager at bank companies in san francisco and i also have my own tips because i have conducted tactical interviews before so i really hope that these are valuable to you ideally i think that you should have three different resumes one for the recruiter slash hiring manager one for online submission and another for in person so events job fairs things like that there's a reason for this friend so let's look at my old college resume which do you think it would be best suited for if you chose anything but online submission great if you didn't keep watching now you guys know that I'm very selective with choosing partnerships just because if my nephew, who is a computer science major, won't benefit from it, then you won't either. And I figured that some of you would be interested in building an online portfolio, so this would be a good opportunity to partner with them. So I hope this helps you. Hostinger is one of the fastest growing web hosting companies and they have more than 1.4 million users that use their awesome hosting infrastructure for fast loading websites. I actually like how easy it is they make creating a website using their H panel control panel, but I really like that you get a free domain because I pay a grip for all the domains that I have a year. <laughs> If you're gonna go for anything, I would go with the premium web hosting just because you get that free personal email and you can create 100 websites versus one. So you don't have to just do a portfolio. You can do other stuff too. This is what actually interested me. They're running a promo where you get three extra months with any 48 month web hosting plan. And if you want an extra 10% off, you can use the code Senegatus Resume up to you. So if you're interested in hosting your online resume using Hostinger, you can go ahead and click the link below and you can follow along with this video because i will be showing how you add the templates since that was kind of confusing for me it took me hours to make so please be nice if you don't like it okay again i just wanted to make sure i showed you guys how to do this because this can be confusing for first timers so what you want to do is go to appearance and add theme and we are going to choose the file that you have downloaded from my website and click ok and install that now you're probably not going to see this page exactly, but you will see this page here, which will tell you that you can activate it. And you can go back to appearance just to make sure that it actually is active. The second step in this process is you wanna to go to plugins just to make sure that you have the WordPress importer installed. If you don't, you can go ahead and just add it by typing in WordPress importer and um, activating it that way. And then you want to go to tools and import, and we're going to use the WordPress importer to download all of our fun stuff, which is the pages, uh, images, uh, font, all that fun stuff. Um, and it's going to show that some of the files already exist, which is totally fine. And you can go back to pages just to make sure that we have everything that we need. And then we'll go back to appearance and finally hit customize and do all the fun stuff like uh, changing the layout. You can change the colors. Don't forget to change the photos, of course. And you can play with the navigation. Uh, please add links to the navigation buttons. And don't forget to change the links for the repository. And you won't be able to edit the your name and site tagline right here. You have to go back to settings and general. And that's where you can change uh, the your name to, you know, your name. Thank you so much. I really hope that you like it. And if you don't, uh, just lie to me because <laughs> it took me forever to make. So my first tip is to keep the resume simple. Please, 
When you're submitting your resume online, more than likely there's going to be an AI that's scanning your resume for keywords and making sure that this resume reaches the benchmarks that the employer is looking for. But sometimes the AI isn't best at parsing things. So uh, a cool symbol or interesting format that you put on your resume, the AI might confuse that and think something means something else or things like that. So avoid that altogether by just going with a nice simple resume that highlights your strengths. So for my resume, you see all these symbols. This is not a resume that I would submit online to a company. Here's an example of simple resume templates that work totally fine. On the contrary, the hiring manager that I actually spoke to mentioned that eye-catching resumes are things that do help you stick out. I mean, I'm not talking about like, you know, adding stickers and stamps. For example, I would give this out and a card with my website portfolio at job fairs and I always got a lot of compliments from the hiring managers because they thought that it was something that was different. Now you don't have to have two different resumes and two different resume templates if you think that's just confusing and too much time. If I had to choose one, I would say go with the simple resume templates because no matter what, it doesn't matter how fancy and eye-catching your resume is, what matters is the content inside it. Like the old program we're saying, keep it simple, stupid. So you wanna really, really, oh my gosh, I really wish I knew this, really focus on metrics. This statement, for example, ensured software efficiency and usability through continuously integrated unit tests and bounded exhaustive testing with PHP unit. Yes, I said what I did to ensure software efficiency, but so like what, what was the result of that? That could have just went off into the upside down somewhere. Like how did this piece of code impact the project? A metric that I would add would be uh, how much percentage did code coverage come up or did bug reporting go down? Things like that. The point is, if you can, don't just talk about what you did, but talk about how what you did made an impact. There are a lot of acronyms in the software engineering discipline. Uh, APIs, KPIs, TDD, Mevinstack, Meanstack. <laughs> you get the point, it's extra. While a hiring manager with a tech background may understand the, what if someone who doesn't have a very strong tech background is reading it? Or if you're sending it through an AI, it may not understand certain jargon, like mean stack, thinking of it as like a mean stack instead of, you know, what is it? MongoDB or Mongoose, Express, Angular, Note. Ah! <laughs> Better safe than sorry, I would just spell out uh, the acronyms that are not super, super used. API is fine, TDD, I would probably just put test driven development, you know? Now I'm not talking about skill, but like the years required specific. If a job is requiring five years experience, but you only have six months experience, Go sit down. AI will almost always filter out your resume if that's the case. And the recruiter or hiring manager is just gonna get annoyed. At least that's what they told me. <laughs> but if you're reasonably close to the years, years of experience required, I say go for it, but I would probably be on the safe side and give it to a person like a recruiter or hiring manager directly versus going through an AI or a website just because they can probably like see that, oh, this person has a lot of skill or this person's interesting. Maybe we can down level them, things like that. For the love of God, I'm speaking from experience. Keep it one page. Unless you have like 10 years of experience, there is no reason your resume should be more than one page. If your resume is just that good and extensive and has quality experience, then just play with the formatting. Maybe you do size 11 font and minimize minimize the line spacing, play with the margin sizes. Just try and get all of it to fit into one page. Because from what I've been told, apparently, they never read the second page anyway. Keyword being relevant. Let's say you're going for a junior front end developer position. Over the summer, you had some experience in the AI field and you also created a website for for your local bakery. Which should you add to your resume? You have two seconds. Time's up. If you chose developing a website, you are correct. This is because you wanna show the employer you have the skill and experience to complete the job when you actually start. Of course, every company gives you a grace period and a learning curve, but the more relevant work experience that you have on your resume, the shorter that learning curve is, and that's what employers wanna see. Allegedly. Now, if you don't quite have a uh, technical experience, you're just, you know, 
a little fresh baby in the tech industry, that's totally okay too. Try adding a non-technical section. Add strong experience that still highlights the non-technical skills that every developer needs, like uh, leadership skills, teamwork, etc. There are websites that have lists of strong action words and I'll link some in the description box, but just, you know, sprinkle some in there. And that's it, friend. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a live where we can go over resumes. Um, I can proofread them, give you some advice, feedback, things like that. That's something that I've really been wanting to do. And again, if you are interested in having an online portfolio or online resume, you can go ahead and click my link below. And uh, if you want an extra 10% off on that, you can use my code, what was it? Senegata's resume, right. <laughs> Regardless, of course, the portfolio templates are still completely free. You know, I will never, ever, you can quote me on this and drag me in the future if I change my mind. I will never charge you for anything that helps you get a job. Until next time, friend, bye.